In 1952, Gino Marchetti began his career as a rather average offensive lineman. Colt head coach Wee Bubank moved him to the other side of the ball, and the NFL's first great defensive end was unleashed. Marchetti used his knowledge as a blocker and became unblockable. from the left against Green Bay. And does he pulverize Bart Stock? He's 6'4", 246 pounds. And today, that's, you know, a decent size for an outside linebacker. They called him Gino the Giant because he was one of the biggest people in the league. Look, Chuck, Jim Taylor wants the ball. I think Mr. Taylor changed his mind, wouldn't you? My vision of Gino is, is flying around the end, shirt tail flying, uh, jumping over a fallen body that he just threw, and a quarterback's eyes getting about that big. That's my picture of Gino. If you look at the film on him, he's always flying around the end. I mean, he's not bull rushing very much, although he could. He was quick, he had great athleticism, and he'd shed you, he would just throw you. Here's a fine close-up look at number 89. Watch him as he moves one way, and now pops back into the hole to stop Detroit fullback Petrosati dead in his tracks. There's a great story about Gino. He was, uh, they were playing in San Francisco, and the guy opposite him was Bob St. Clair, who was a college teammate at the University of San Francisco, and currently in the Hall of Fame. And when the game was over, uh, Gino was walking off the field. The Colts won. He had obviously played a great game, and he heard these footsteps and somebody yelling at him coming from behind, and he looked over, it was St. Clair, chasing him, and he thought, for some reason, St. Clair wanted to hit him. And St. Clair came up to him and said, put his hand on his shoulder, and he said, I just want to say I touched you once today. Never laid a hand on him. You know, unfortunately, we can't support his career by statistics. They didn't even keep sacks. Not even come close to keeping sacks. I've been asked the most sacks I've had in one game. I know I've had nine. It's a great feeling because it was a challenge to me, one-on-one. -on -one. Feel like, man, I got him, I got him. Gino the Giant unloads up quarterback Jim Nanowski for a safety and two points. Marchetti fought in the Battle of the Bulge at age 17. When he broke his leg in the Colts' 1958 championship game, he refused to be taken to the locker room and remained on the sideline until victory was assured. Gino was a giant. He was the real-life version of the John Wayne characters. He was strong and silent. Just this towering presence. The most beloved player on the team was Gino Marchetti. About the thrills I'm giving them. But nobody's ever said the thrills that I've had on this football field. I appreciate it. 